Up and up is magic. With the gang, we ball out, it can't get tragic. All we got, we gon' let you, let you have it. Stuck in my ways, think I need to change my habits. What would you do if you were me and didn't have it? Look in the mirror, now I'm feeling like a savage. Tell my son I love him for him, I'ma make it happen. Now my dreams reality, not going back to back to back. You say that you proud of me, I turn my back, you laughing. Now I hit the scene, they like lights, camera action. Living in a dream, now my music, they be blasting. It is fashion, had to set the bar, bar, try to catch me lacking. Bank account for my son, he won't have to struggle. You can see it in my eyes, all I do is hustle. They tried to knock me off my feet, I'm ready to rumble. Felt like I ain't eight in weeks, working off the muscle. Oh yeah, oh my, we ride for my brothers, no lie. All you, all you can die, never wrong, they right. I ain't changing my side, yeah, we in it for life. Yeah, I've been, I've been magic. With the gang, we ball out, it can't get tragic. All we got, we gon' let you, let you have it. Stuck in my ways, think I need to change my habits. What would you do if you were me and didn't have it? Look in the mirror, now I'm feeling like a savage. Tell my son I love him for him, I'ma make it happen. Now my dreams reality, not going back to back to back. You say that you proud of me, I turn my back, you laugh. Hey. How could you lie to my face? People claim that they be loyal, they be taking up space. See my Roski lose his heart when he was fighting that case. Took so many yells, I'm not going back to those days. I'ma treat you how you treat me, do you like how it tastes? Shawty use a use of can't treat you like my ace. I got way too many problems to be worried, I'm straight. Me and Craig, Craig, Craig had to watch for the Jakes. On the road, this road crazy, I get All right, Coach, it's the NFL playoffs on EA Sports, and we are at Wintry First Energy Stadium in Cleveland. Straight ahead, we pull the curtain on the postseason with an AFC wild card matchup between the Miami Dolphins and the Cleveland Browns. It's that most wonderful time of the year, the NFL playoffs, as we're underway on EA Sports. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. Chubb, and he'll get this from the 25 to the 30 for a pickup of five. I call that play a success. A nice inside run sets up a very manageable second down, a very solid gain on that play. Second and five. He's got the hook up to Odell Beckham. I don't care who you put on him, he's going to be a handful in one-on-one -on -one throws. Yeah, right now, you're right. They're in man-to-man, -man, maybe need some safety help. I would say that'd be a good idea. Double-team him somehow. I'm going to have to make someone else beat me rather than let him shred my defense. Check three, check three. Hey, hey, watch this, watch this. On first down, they'll run with Chubb. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Now that sends him two yards in the wrong direction and leads to second down. Brings up second and 12 at the 39-yard line. Set, ready, Mike. 90, walk. You can stop here, D. Joker, Joker, 61. Matchbox, right, ready, go. They go with Chubb on second down. Nowhere to go that time. He maybe got a yard up to the 40. H3, 218, chopper, chopper. Set To throw on third down. Love. And that will be incomplete. That's a pretty good opening possession defensively. And you know the goal is to make something of a statement, especially on the road with your first defensive possession, isn't it? Go right out and establish yourselves and let them know this is going to be tough going all game long. Fielded at the 20. 
It'll be a 39-yard punt, four on the return. And that will come the offense as they take over. Now the Auburn product, Corey Grant. And an alley to run. And he takes this up to the 40-yard line before being corralled. 17 yards for the Dolphins there as they've got themselves a first down. So quickly all the way up at the 40-yard line. Now Jackson. Wide open receiver complete. A Miami first down on the 14-yard pickup. An ex-teammate used to tell me all the time, I hate experienced quarterbacks because no matter what, you really can't hide what you're doing. And I think that right there, he knew right away where the blitz was coming from, where his primary guy was going to be, and he ended up going to a secondary target for a nice game. I was just going to ask you, that wasn't the primary target. It, he's so good at that, isn't he? I think he knew right away that he wasn't going to get to his primary guy. I think he read that as soon as he got to the line of scrimmage, knew where the pressure was going to come from, and said, ah, I know how to beat that. And that's what he did. They'll throw on first down with Jackson. Steps away to his left. And he just gets rid of it. Throws it away. The wise move there looked like nobody open. Now second down. Got out of the pocket. Didn't look like he had anybody open, Charles. So just gets rid of it. And a good play by him. If no one's open and you don't have a running lane that you want to take, make the right choice. Get rid of it. Live to fight another down. And he's got this down almost to the 20 before he's dropped. A Miami first down, that one going for a gain of 11. Pretty nice play here. They go read option, read the defensive end, and when he claps down inside, how about the quarterback pulling it, keeping it, and not only getting to the second level, but picking up some really nice yardage. Very, very well read. And he'll keep it moving down to the 15-yard line. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. Throwing on second and three. Jackson. And a big loss here as he's taken down. Miles Garrett. What a play by him. That's a loss of 17. We said it before the game, and I think it's still apparent. If these guys are going to advance in these playoffs, they're going to have to wreak some havoc coming off the edge. Yeah, wild card round. They told us the wild card could be that defensive pressure. They showed it there. Seventh play of this drive coming up, but a long way to go on third down. To throw is Jackson. He lets this one fly toward the... And this is going to be intercepted. Picked off with great anticipation. Parker unable to get that one. But no doubt, a very disappointing end to what was a pretty strong opening drive. They had three points in their back pocket. It was there for them. If you don't like what you see, just throw it away. Make sure you get those points on the board. Don't get too greedy. He forced it there. He saw the end result. Under 10. Blue Dark Walker. Blue Dark Walker. Check out. Hot, hot. Check Mike 46. Check Mike 46. Recon, 132 fight. They start on the ground with Nick Chubb. And they'll blow that one up back at the 16-yard line. That's going to wind up a loss of a full three yards on first down. Well, you had to punt on your first drive, and on the first play of the second drive, you end up going backwards. I would dare say they need something good to happen right here, right now. A three-yard loss to start the drive. They'll look to make that up and then some on second and 13. From the gun, Love. And he's taken down. Back at his own seven. Raekwon McMillan. It'll go as a loss of about eight as he gets in there to drop him. Throwing on third and long. Love. He finds Beckham complete. And he's able to get this one all the way past the 30. That one good for 24 yards. Well, we know he's got the speed there. He needed the speed and the hands. A great catch. And because of that speed, you have to respect it as a defender. So you have to either play off or make sure you're somehow in contact with him. And he's able to do exactly what you said. Use the speed to his advantage and go up and get the football. That's a big-time play right there. 
And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. 14 yards, and it's a Cleveland first down. A run for Nick Chubb. And he works his way forward for about four up to the midfield stripe. One thing to keep in mind, partner, especially in the second half, when you've got a running back of this size, of these dimensions, I can just tell you, attrition does set in for a defense because you're excited about hitting him in the first half. Maybe not so much in the second half, and some of these shorter gains turn into bigger runs later. The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. Check, check. Fresno, Fresno. They get this to Beckham on the perimeter. And they'll work this down to the 40-yard line, tackled there. It's a gain of 10, and the Browns are going to get a first down. I like watching the wide receiver screen because it's a real teamwork play. Because guess what? The guy catching the ball, he'll get all the credit. But how about the people up to block in front of him, either fellow receivers or offensive linemen? That makes that play a really nice timing play, and sometimes it can break big. But now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. He was trying to go back to Beckham there. And now it's second down. So second down and 10. Once again, they'll go from the 40. Love. He'll let it go deep for Beckham. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. The pro bowler Odell Beckham, the intended receiver. And it's third down. Well, he'd been targeted quite a bit on this drive. And finally, I think the guys on the defensive side, they said no more. They slapped the double coverage on him. Made it very tough for him to get the ball. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions. Have them looking at third and ten. from the gun. Love. And a throw there going to be incomplete. More problems here on third down. They've converted only once so far in this first half. And you know as well as I do in this league, if you don't win on third down, it makes it hard to win a ball game because then you're relying on your defense, you're relying on your special teams. You've got to get it done with your offensive unit. The three straight incompletions, they don't care. That hasn't dissuaded them. They're going to go for it on four. On fourth down, Love. It's caught, Jones. First catch of this wild card game for a 1,000-yard receiver in the regular season. He's got a first down, too. From the gun, it's a gift to Chubb. Give him a couple on the carry there, second and eight. Well, they certainly had success throwing the ball on this drive and not as much running it as we just saw once again on that last play. Stopped after a very short gain. But I wouldn't abandon the run totally because otherwise, pass rushers just tee off on your quarterback. It makes it very, very difficult for him in that situation. They give the chub out of the gun. They follow up the gain of two with a gain of one that time. Well, he hasn't made much of an impact in the running game thus far, and after that last run, not much is going to change in that area. He hasn't been able to get anything going, and really the offensive line not helping him much. The Browns on third down, just one for three thus far. This is third and seven. On the ground, it's Chubb. And down inside the 15 he goes. That's good for a Cleveland first down at 11-yard pickup. So that's what that elbow in my ribs was all about. You thought they were going to throw the ball as well. Absolutely. I think everybody thought they were throwing the football. Caught him off guard. Yeah, I'm telling you, when you have the courage to make that type of a play call, a lot of times you actually get rewarded. Two minutes to play here in this first half of the NFL playoffs. 
Coming up at the half, we remind you that we're going to do what we've done all year. We'll get you down to Jonathan Coachman in Orlando. Coach will have the lowdown of what's going on here in this wild card weekend as we begin the road to the upcoming Super Bowl. 46 to Mike, 46. Check, check, check. Alpha. 46. There you go. Off the play fake. Love. And this is caught. Touchdown, Cleveland. Julio Jones there to make the grab as his guys are first out of the scoreboard here this afternoon. That's one of those touchdown tosses where if it's an inch to the right or left, it's not a touchdown. He had to put it right on the money. Yeah, and how did he do that? Everything around him, everything swirling, all the coverage downfield. Somehow he spotted the opening and put it right there. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. And there are parts of their last drive they'd like to emulate. And, of course, they'd like to forget the inning, the interception. But they did put together, Charles, a nice sustained drive to get him down the field. Yeah, and unfortunately for them, the only thing that matters is part two, right? Because once they threw the interception and finished off the drive, that does them no good to go back and say, well, you know, we had a good one going to finish things off. That's the only way you can get it done. Here's a run on first down that doesn't accomplish anything. In fact, he's going to be tackled behind the line for a loss of one. He'll wind up losing a yard on the play, and it'll be second and 11. Here's Grant. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Officially, it will go as a one-yard loss, and that's going to lead to a third down. Two running plays, each lose a yard. They'll need to do much better now on third and 12. From the gun, Jackson completes it to Cole Grant. And he will be very close to a first down, but I see the closed fist of the referee, and that means fourth down. They'll indeed go for it with Jackson. And an alley to run. And he'll score. Touchdown, Browns. So they go on fourth down. Not only do they not get it, it turns into six points the other way. Disastrous. And many people think you should just go ahead and knock it down in that situation. Turn it over for the offense. But I had a defensive coordinator recently tell me, we see that as a passive play. We don't do that anymore. We want the ball in our hands. We want to head the other way. Probably also instinct a lot of times. If you see a lot of green grass ahead of you, go ahead and grab it. It's the exact right play to do. That's knowing when to break the rules and when to make a play that maybe you hadn't been taught. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. The Dolphins at the line, ready for their next drive. Now we're under 20 seconds to go in the half. I'm guessing the wise play here is be safe. That is the wise play because if you think about trying to fool them here, here's what you're facing. You're facing a loosened up secondary, playing a lot deeper than normal. So even if you run some type of misdirection, you're only going to fool them for a second or so. And guess what? They're so deep, they're really not going to be out of position. Take the knee, get to the locker room. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. And now a timeout defensively after that first down play. So they're going to make this offense sweat out half number one. Line of scrimmage, again the 25, second and 10. Jackson to throw again. Flush to his right. He's going to take off with it. And he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. Six yards there off the scramble, but it'll still leave him with a third down. It looks like a nickel set now for the Browns on third down. Final play of the half here. It's Jackson flushed out right. 
And he's going to go down. Couldn't get a throw off with the pressure. Maybe that was for the best, as that brings us to the end of this first half of play. So we're at halftime of this AFC wild card matchup as we'll head down to Orlando. That's where we find our man Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports halftime report. Coach. All right, Coach. Thank you. And we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. Both teams try to avoid being one and done in these playoffs as we start the second half of this AFC wild card game. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. They come out here with a zero on the scoreboard. What was said in that locker room? That's what I want to know. I would love to have been in there because we often have the feeling that there's a lot of shouting, screaming, people upset. But typically, halftime locker rooms are a lot more clinical than that. And in this case, are they upset that the plays weren't working because of execution? Or did they think just they were just bad plays to call? Yeah. We'll find out pretty quickly here if they felt like they had something going, but they just need to do it a little bit better or not. We'll find out. And this winds up a pickup of two, maybe two and a half to about the 39. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, those big defensive linemen will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. On second down, it's Grant. And he tried to bounce it outside, but they'll stop him behind the line. That's going to go down as a loss of five, and it brings up third down. But these guys are going to chop into that deficit. They got to do a much better job in the run game. Caught behind the line of scrimmage, no yardage will be found. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. From the gun, it's Jackson. Buying time to his left. And he's got some space here. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. Lamar Jackson, such a threat with those legs, able to improvise and get the first. Still in search of their first touchdown of the game, but they're on the move, first and 10. They'll run it now out of the gun. And they're going to stop him right at the line of scrimmage. Just no cutback lane to be found whatsoever. Second and 10. He has elite instincts from his linebacker spot. He's able to diagnose the run and flies in like a missile to stop that one behind the line of scrimmage. Watch the screen. Watch the screen. Watch the screen. And now Jackson will look to throw it. Looking left side. He's got it. Complete. Four yards on the completion, and it sets up a third down. From the gun on third down, Jackson. He's going to let this go for the end zone. And oh, it'll be intercepted. Greedy Williams picks it off. He was looking for Parker that time. First possession of the third quarter, an interception, so maybe a second-half tone setter. Indeed, and not the tone they wanted to set. That's the equivalent of running out the wrong door and running into your pool instead of running out onto the Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Well, partner, we know they came out of the locker room down on the scoreboard, but I will guarantee you the defensive side of the ball gets super emotional. They can come out and play with aggressiveness, with fury, because they don't have to be quite as precise, and it paid off for them on that play, didn't it? Sure did. Excellent play, really setting the tone for this third quarter. And he's going to go down. Back at his own five-yard line, it's a sack. Give the sack to Jerome Baker. So, Brandon, we sat in with a lot of coaches, and when they talk about things they want to accomplish offensively, I'm not sure that sack and sack are on their play sheet. After the sack, they'll come up now third and long. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised to see them run the ball here just to try and get some space. Uh, no run call here. They'll look to throw instead. It's caught by OBJ. And he showed off the athletic juke. Good little gain there. Not a whole lot of real estate, but a nice carry.
Here's Ryan Quigley now. As the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. And this is away. It's a high kick, and he got all of it. And that'll skip out of bounds inside the 20 at the 17-yard line. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. And with three interceptions thrown already, we'll see. Do they, do they rely more on the ground game here? They may have to change things offensively to try and settle things down, not just for the guy throwing the ball, but for the rest of the offensive unit because his confidence has to be shaken a little bit. And you just wonder. Is the backup going to start to warm up a little bit over on the sideline? An ideal beginning of the drive there is they'll get 20 and a first down. One play has him to the 37 here for first and 10. Here's Jackson to throw. Complete. It's Henry. And he's able to get this one out closer to midfield across the 45. A 10-yard pickup. And it's enough for a Dolphins first down. And this should be the final play before the quarter ends. Jackson on first down. Dancing to his left. He's going to take off with it. He's going to be out of bounds on what's going to wind up being the final play of quarter number three. One quarter remains for the right to survive round one here in the AFC. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Throwing on first down, it's Jackson. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. Didn't have a receiver open downfield, and as it turned out, couldn't even find his outlet, man, because of the coverage. It's way too tight. Unable to find anyone open. So second down and 10. Once again, they'll go from the 40. Now it's Jackson. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. I remember throughout my career here in defensive coaches, I always say, guys, you've got to earn the right to rush the passer. Well, they put themselves in a great spot with this big lead, and they know they've got to throw the ball. These pass rushers have to be salivating. It is pin your ears back time indeed. 53 to We got one again. From midfield now, here's Jackson. And that is incomplete. The frustration is definitely setting in because they've thrown it to him over and over, unable to come up with a catch thus far. I think he knew he would have his challenges against his secondary. I don't think he saw a goose egg at this point in the game. And they're indeed going to go for it here on fourth down. So trailing here in the last quarter, let's see how this plays out. They'll try and throw for it with Jackson. Being chased out left. The Dolphins can't convert on fourth down. And this Browns defense stands tall. So they really needed points here in a two-score game. Could not come away with anything there on fourth. And while we know they're a little bit discouraged here, they can't check out of this game. You and I have called a good number of games over the course of our career where we've seen these types of situations. Teams get the ball back, and that miracle does occur. So they can't let that dream go just yet. They have to get stout on defense here. Yeah, right now really hoping for a turnover. Five yards on the catch there brings up second down. Another nice pick up through the air, and I think a lot of people might expect them to run the ball in this situation, Brandon, but with this lead, they're electing to throw the football. Swings, slants, quick outs, things that they consider safe. Five yards on first down, but now just a one-yard pick up there on second. Seems pretty obvious defensively a key was stopping the run game. How have they done it so successfully? To me, it seems that these guys really did a nice job of paying attention during the scouting report meeting. And you know, Brandon, when they do those, they talk about the top plays that these guys like to run. The best runs for the top running back, those are the ones you focus on and want to take away. And they've done that pretty successfully in this game. The Browns on third down, two for five to this point. This is third and four. Uh -huh. 
Now a fake on the give here as they try to run pass option. He'll get this to Chubb out of the backfield. And he's taken down at the 43, but not before picking up the first. Give him six yards in the first down. First and 10 at the 43 yard line. Down. 15 Lonnie, 15 Lonnie. 61. Matchbox, right. D line, get that quarterback. Ready, ready. Quick, quick, quick. Quick dash, quick dash. Come on, come on. Right, right. Now, Chubb. And I think this defense knew what was coming as he is smothered behind the line. That's going to go as a loss of two, and it'll be second down. And the trend continues here in the fourth like it was in the first, second, and third. He's had nowhere to run. And you're probably thinking to yourself, why do they keep feeding him the football? Well, they trust him first and foremost. They do believe that over time he might actually pop one of these runs. But bottom line is he takes care of the ball well for them, so they'll keep handing it to him. And he'll push his way up to about the 44 here. And this is an absolutely big third down that's been set up here, partner. And there's no other way to put it. The defense has to get a stop here if they have any hopes of winning this game. Has to. You said big third down. I'd put the word big in capital letters here. The Browns on third down. They've hit it 50%, three of six to this point. This is third and eight. From the gun, Love. And he gets it to his running back, Nick Chubb. And he gets this to the 48, but no further. Well short of the line to gain. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So the Browns in possession of the football here as we get you reset. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. And he gets it away, a directional kick going toward the sideline. And for an offense that is struggling, this is not where you want to start from. Great punt. Fantastic punt. And for all those who wonder, what do punters do during the course of practice each and every day? The best ones do what we just saw there. Work on positioning the football and helping their team. On first and ten, it's Jackson. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. We have not seen a whole lot of wide-open receivers. Everything seemingly has been contested. And that's another nice job there to force an incompletion. They've been very cohesive, knowing each other's moves all game long, and they've been on the spot just about every time. And they've held them in check on the scoreboard. Another throw on second down, and this one incomplete as well. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. Jackson from the shotgun. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. There he goes, left side. And all the way in for a Miami touchdown. A big play there. 93 yards as his guys are back within a single score. Important extra point up and through. And now things get a bit more interesting here in this fourth quarter. This game back within a touchdown now as the kickoff's away. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. The Cleveland offense ready to go. And this game not quite over yet. And we'll likely see them take all three timeouts defensively so they can't just kneel this one out. They're going to have to try to run a few plays. And he can't get a throw off. He's taken down. What a huge play at this point in the game. Got to imagine the pass rush will be equally intense here on second down following the sack. It's second and 18. Two, fellas, let's go. 
Looking to throw. Love. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. This a very important drive, and that incompletion leads to a very important third down here if they're going to try and get the football back. Yeah, getting it back, absolutely crucial to their chances to try and win this game. I would expect a lot of pressure here. They can't afford to let them continue to get first downs and eat away at the clock. Now look at this. They get the turnover they needed. It's intercepted. Picked off here the 32. And he's going to get this on down to the 13-yard line. Landry, the intended target. That interception sets them up beautifully already in the red zone. And you can hear it all the way up here. Oski, Oski, everyone turn to block, find a spot. And now they're set up inside the red zone for their offense. They'll run on first down. Grant. And he will take it in for a Dolphins touchdown. A 13-yard touchdown run as they can now tie the game with the extra point here in the final two minutes. Well, the hard part's done. Now they just need to split the post, tie it up, but then their defense is going to have to hold up to send it to overtime. Yeah, no matter what. I know there's an inclination in it when you have momentum to go for two here, but if you miss it, you don't give your defense a chance at all. Plus, it's been a good game. I want to see overtime. I'm selfish. <laughs> you obviously don't have a flight to catch. Tomorrow. Here we go. Here we go. The Browns drive about to get started. They've got work to do, but they do still have a bit of time here. And they've got to feel comfortable with that, but they have all their play sequences called. They get out of bounds. That allows them to huddle and call another play. But and this is going to be intercepted. Picked off at the 36. And the return stops just a little bit shy of midfield at the 48-yard line. Oh, and I saw the pressure coming at him. That just looked problematic. Hit him as he threw it, and the interception ensued. Let me pay homage to the man who stood in this spot before. He always talked about how much pressure is in the face of a guy, and can he step into a throw? And when you can't do that, oftentimes interceptions result. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. 18 big yards on that one, and a Miami first. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Throwing now is Jackson, rolling to his right. He completes it to Henry. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. The Dolphins going to take their second timeout as he'll stop it with 27 seconds showing on the clock. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. And an alley to run. He's got the first down inside the 10. And he'll take this into the end zone for a Dolphins touchdown. Lamar Jackson with time running out. And the Dolphins have taken the lead. Did you see them hold up four fingers to the start of the fourth quarter? They were ready. They were definitely ready. They may or may not have done that, but they certainly have played that way. The fourth quarter has belonged to them, and now the lead belongs to them as well. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. The Cleveland offense ready to go. One possession game. <laughs> time very much a factor. How does the offense handle this situation? Well, in a lot of cases, they should be somewhat relaxed. And I know that's counterintuitive because this is a pressure situation. But this is Friday practice every week of the season. You go over this situation, having to go downfield, limited timeouts, got to get out of bounds and keep the drive going and set yourself up. Defensively, you can't just lay back and let them do whatever they want. So it is a cat and mouse deal here. How much pressure will... And oh, a crusher there as it's intercepted. Able to get there and pick it. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Ready. 
The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. And still two timeouts defensively, but even if they choose to use those, three kneel downs should be enough to get out of here with a victory. And that's exactly what's being stated into the head coach's headset. Oftentimes they have a guy upstairs who monitors this at the end of the game. A little clock management 101. They said beginning of the season they wanted to get past the wild card round. Well, they just got past the wild card round. How about that? Being able to put the big check marks up in the locker room, right? Get, you know, get to the wild card game. Check. Got that done. Win a wild card game. Big check. Now you've got to go ahead and set your sights higher. There is a bigger prize out there, and they still have an opportunity. So that's a wrap for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gunn, and this has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. For more, check us out at easports.com. With that, we say so long from Cleveland.